Alright, so if you guys watched my previous video on the motion blur, uh, I think I told you guys that I was having some issues with the motion blur in Eevee, and uh, I think that's actually because I missed a setting in the motion blur tab over here, which is the step settings here. So I ended up playing with these settings and leaving out this one, which actually uh, fixed the whole thing for me. So the default value being 1. When I rendered this image out, which was what I showed you guys in my previous video, you'll end up having this sort of a blurred out and a cloudy sort of thing in your image. So let's just give it some time to render out so I can show you what I mean. All right, here. So you can see what I mean here. So once I found out this, I, I, I actually decided to... Uh, play around with the values here and I ended up discovering this value here which I missed before I don't know how I missed this value but it's, it's the steps value we have over here so just increasing this up in situations like this can actually fix your problem so let me try something like 50 All right. so remember when you increase this you're gonna have a longer render time so let's go ahead and render this out now alright so you can see that fixed it very nicely and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it so if you want better values for emotion blade in Eevee you're gonna have to play around with this value here because it's not going to be the same for all your scenes so yeah that's pretty much it and uh, I'm sorry for not telling um, I mean I'm sorry for not digging deeper before making the first video but at least I get to fix it this time and uh, I appreciate you guys so thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video